Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll quickly be showing you how you can modify and cancel any of your active positions on the Oanda web forex trading platform. Now, you may have already seen it, but we did make a similar video showing you how to accomplish this feature on the desktop platform. But the process is just a bit different, and although it is pretty straightforward, some traders may look past it, and we just wanted to create a real quick tutorial showing you how to do so. So first, let's actually place an order here. You'll notice we have no current orders, no positions, no trades. Let's click the buy button here. We'll just buy a standard market order, and if we click submit, as you can see, our order was executed successfully. It's now reflected in trades, and you can see it in our positions as well. This is filled immediately, so it does automatically get put to our position. If it was a working order, you'd probably see that in your order section, something like a limit or a stop order that hasn't been filled in the market yet. You'll see that reflected here. Now, you do have a couple options. As you can see on trades, in the far right hand corner past the profit percentage field you do have an option to close out using that x button there as you can see cl clicking on that will close out your trade and it'll tell you exactly where it was closed out at and how many units you did let's do another order this time we'll do a sell side just to show you what it looks like it was executed successfully as you can see it has now been reflected into our trade section here this time, instead of clicking the close out button, we can actually click that little pencil icon. The pencil icon will allow us to modify our order. Now you can't exactly modify the units or the exact price it was at. So you'll need to close out a trade and re-enter a new one if you'd like to go that route. But if you'd like at any time, you can add take profit, stop loss or trailing stops on top of the existing order. So for example, you can either click your up or down arrows in pips if you'd like to go that route. You can also manually type in a take profit price, enter it in manually. So we can just say at 1.3 flat, or well, it must be lower than the current price, which is at 1.27 actually. So let's do 1.26, just do that flat. You can see that's at 105 pips it comes out to. If we save changes, it'll automatically put our modified order in there. So as you can see, we now have this take profit leg and this is reflected on our chart as well. You can see that visually. If you want, you can actually left click and hold now to modify it even further. So let's say you put it at that price manually and you're not really a fan of where it is at the market or you need to move it up or down, whatever the case may be. Again, you just left click that take profit and it will automatically adjust it for you. So that's actually a really nice feature. As you can see, it, it does get modified successfully. We see that order confirmation in the bottom left of our chart. So that is one way to go about it. If you want, you can continue to edit. You just click on that pencil icon. We can put a stop loss in there. So again, you can put in pips or you can manually adjust. We can click save. Our trade was again modified successfully. You can see this time our stop loss is actually, it does tell you it is a stop loss. It is reflected in red. Again, you'll see it on your chart. Same thing as before, you just left click and drag as you may need to modify. It does take a second to reflect its position on the chart, but you'll always get that confirmation little window down in the bottom left hand corner of your chart. You can see that since these are working orders, and they haven't been filled yet, they are in our order section. Again, if you want, you can go in here and edit with a pencil icon. This will just allow you to edit the stop loss, take profit legs or trailing stop. You can't actually change your side of the position or the quantity. And if you wanna cancel these orders out before they do get filled, you can click the X on your chart to cancel order. Or you can come down through the order section down below and click on that X there. You see those were canceled out successfully. Same thing with positions. I already showed you how to cancel through the either positions or trade window. Same thing, you just click on that X, it'll cancel it out. Or we can do so through the chart one more time. Just click on that X and it will close out your position successfully. That pretty much just wraps it up guys. We've already created videos on how to place buy or sell orders. So I'm sure you're a little bit familiar with that. Again, you can just always click on whatever order button you want. 
configure everything as you need, change your units, change the price, and place your order. Again, you've just seen how to modify your orders. So technically at any time, if you do want to add take profit, stop loss, trailing stop, or lower bound legs to your original positions, you now know how to do so at any time, whether the position has been filled or not. But that wraps it up for this video. Just a real quick tutorial showing you how to do this on the web version. Again, if you use the desktop version as well and you're unfamiliar how to close out and modify positions there, you can refer to our other video, which is in its own Awanda desktop Forex desktop platform playlist. So check that out. Feel free to like this video, comment any questions, concerns you may have. We also have a community forum. Reach out there as well. It's posted in the description. And subscribe for more Oanda content. Thanks for watching.